and we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you an easy and quick 3D effect. I've got a color palette right here, ignore it for now and just use the type tool. Then we press Ctrl A and I'll size it up, maybe to 500 and I'll use Arial Heavy once again. You should have that inbuilt in your GIMP as well. I'll copy it two times, so I've got this text three times in total. I go to the top text layer, use the type tool again, press Ctrl A, and now I use my color palette and this color picker tool to sample the first color. Then when I confirm it, you can see it's now on top. Let me go to the bottom text layer, filters, light and shadow, and then long shadow. Check the preview if you don't see the effect. You don't want to have the length too big. Something like this, around 60 should be fine and I sample the lightest color. It's important that the style is finite. Ignore the rest, by default it should work. Confirm it via OK. And now we go to the, you know what, let me rename this stuff so that you have a better overview. So the bottom is the outer 3D and the top one is our text. And now I go to the middle layer right here for the text. You can't see it for now. I go to filter slide and shadow once more. I'll use the long shadow. And I sample this red color. The length is important. You don't want to have it exceed the outer 3D. So in my case, this orange color. So I want to have it below 60 in this case. And now set the style to fading. But you want to have fading fixed length. So that way this outer shadow is going to vanish. And if you have the length too big, you're going to have this outer shadow again. So make it around the size as the orange one, around 60, and then confirm it. And this gives you a 3D text effect, this nice little fade, and it helps to create this illusion of having a 3D text. You can merge all of these layers to have your 3D text on a single layer by using this option right here. And that's already it. As I've said, a quick and easy way to create a 3D text effect in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.